Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to play Fortnite on a Chromebook. As you might already know, you cannot directly download and install Fortnite on a Chromebook. So, we are going to play the game via a cloud gaming platform. Fortnite is available on the three most popular cloud gaming platforms, Amazon Luna, Nvidia GeForce Now and Xbox Cloud. In this video, we are going to use Nvidia GeForce Now where you can play Fortnite and other popular games for free. However, GeForce Now is not yet available in all the countries or regions. Also, with the free membership of GeForce Now, you may need to wait in a long queue before you can start playing a game. But do not worry, we'll use a workaround so that we can access GeForce Now from any country. Also, I'll show you how you can skip the long wait time so that you can get into Fortnite game almost instantly. So let's begin. First of all, on your Chrome browser, visit the GeForce Now website. Here, click on the Join Now button. As you can see, it's showing a message that GeForce Now is currently not supported in my region. If you also get this message, then you have to use a VPN service to access GeForce Now. To show you, I'm going to use a free VPN service from the Chrome Web Store. Make sure you're using a good quality VPN that provides high bandwidth with less latency. Let's use this one as its rating is pretty high. In the VPN, set the location to US. After connecting to the VPN, just refresh the page. Then click the Join Now button again. Now I can access GeForce Now from my country. As you can see, it's now asking me to choose from three different membership plans. The free tier gives free access to the basic rig with a limit of 1 hour per session. For $9.99 per month, you can get priority access to servers with a limit of 6 hours per session. You can stream games at 1080p with 60fps. For $19.99 per month, you can access servers featuring GeForce RTX 4080. This lets you play games in 4K at 120fps with each session limited to 8 hours. You can check out which plan best suits your needs. I am going to join the free membership. After selecting your membership plan, create a new NVIDIA account or just log in using your other accounts such as Google, Discord, Apple and Facebook. You need to then verify your email address. Now, to play Fortnite, first you need to link your Epic Games account with GeForce Now so that your game progress and items can be transferred over. To link your Epic account, click the menu icon in the top left corner and select Settings. Click the Connect button beside Epic Games. Then log into your Epic Games account. After that, return to GeForce Now homepage. Here, in the search bar, type Fortnite. You can see all the current Fortnite games are available to play on GeForce Now, including Battle Royale, Fortnite Festival, Rocket Racing and LEGO Fortnite. Let's say I want to play Fortnite Battle Royale, so I'll click the play button. Now, it will connect you to a GeForce Now server nearest to your location. Now I have to wait some time because 73 games are ahead of me. However, users don't want to wait for that long. So let's see what we can do to skip this long queue time. To solve this problem, what we can do is we can change the GeForce Now server location from the settings. GeForce Now has many servers in different locations all over the world. 
by default, it connects you to the closest one so that you have the lowest latency. We are going to manually change the server location. Each server has a different number of gamers playing. Usually, when there is daytime, the gamers numbers will be high. And where it's night time or very early in the morning, the gamers number will be low. If you are not sure about the world clock, you can just select every region one by one. Generally, EU servers have lesser number of gamers than US servers. So you can start by selecting an EU server location. Then go back and try to play the game. Now see how many gamers are ahead of you. If this number is less than let's say 10 or 20, then you can wait a bit. Otherwise, you can keep going back. Go back to settings and choose a different location. I'm gonna just stop right here and wait a bit for the game to start. Once your rig is ready, allow your microphone access and click the let's go button. Finally, Fortnite will run successfully on your Chromebook and you can play the game without downloading or installing it on your device. If you used an existing Epic game account, all your rewards, skins and resources should be available here. The best part is that using this method you can even play Fortnite on a school Chromebook. You can play the game with a keyboard and mouse or controllers. So that is how you can play Fortnite on a Chromebook. With GeForce Now, it has become significantly easier for users to play Fortnite on a Chromebook. You get the full-fledged PC version of the game on a non-gaming device. I would say, go ahead and try out GeForce Now on your Chromebook. You are absolutely going to love it. And if you face any issue, comment down below and let us know.